Hi, thanks for bringing up this video. I just want to talk very quickly about computer science and specifically the computer science classes that we have at Fairview High School. If your future goals include creating, innovating, solving problems, designing, analyzing, discovering, communicating, collaborating, decision making, or you're interested in pursuing a STEAM career path, science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics, then you need computer science. You can do computer science. Computer science is not just for software engineers anymore. Really, computer science is a way of thinking. Uh, it's a way of creating and solving problems that's a lot utilized in the physical, social, and biological sciences. It's utilized in the creative arts, in engineering, in business, in entertainment, and of course in software development, and more. You should check with different colleges about what computer science component is involved in many different ma majors, especially STEAM majors. And ask your teachers and counselors how computer science coursework will be important to meeting your goals as well. We have four computer science courses here at Fairview High School. Uh, Introduction to Web Authoring, AP Computer Science Principles, IV AP Computer Science, and IV Computer Science 2 HL. Here is kind of the pathway uh, showing what classes you can start in and what classes you can take here. Um, for ninth graders, Introduction to Web Authoring and AP Computer Science Principles are the classes that you're looking at. Introduction to Web Authoring being a one semester class. All the other classes that we offer here are two semester classes. So let me tell you a little bit about these classes that we offer at Fairview. So starting with Intro to Web Authoring. This is a great first computer science class. There are no prerequisites. This class is for everyone. CS for all is kind of the tagline for a lot of the classes that we have here at Fairview. Um, there is a ton of hands-on learning in this class. Really, in all of the computer science classes, we learn by doing. Uh, in this class in particular, you should be able to finish your work in class uh, as long as you're there. Uh, this is a very visual way to start learning to use computer science languages. It allows you to show your creativity uh, by making web pages. So in this class, Intro to Web Authoring, you'll learn a ton. And you'll be really proud of your accomplishments when you finish the class. Uh, a big part of it is learning to think in terms of languages. Uh, some of the languages that we learn are HTML and CSS. And this ends up being a great jumping off point for learning lots of other types of computer science languages as well. So again, this is a great first class. Um, you'll learn to follow a design process um, that's appropriate to lots of uh, different types of engineering, but in this class for planning and creating websites. And uh, as a bonus, it, this is a Grad Plus class, so you can earn college credit from Front Range Community College. AP Computer Science Principles. This also is a class for everyone, CS for all. Now, this is a great introductory computer science course uh, for those looking to pursue a STEAM-related career, science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. Um, again, there's no prerequisites. This class is for everyone. Um, in this class, you'll learn to code in an algorithmic coding language, like Python. Algorithmic programming languages are used to create apps, applications that run on computers and mobile phones and things like that. Again, there's lots of hands-on learning in this class. We learn by doing. Most of the work can be finished uh, in class in this class as well. If you've never taken an AP class before, then AP Computer Science Principles is a fantastic first AP class. Um, your AP score for this class is based on both a test and a project. Um, we'll also learn to compare uh, coding in two different programming languages. Um, and that's a great way uh, to learn more programming languages even after you're done with the class. And we talk about other computer science topics as well, like how the internet really works and ethical issues surrounding computer science. Here's just a little snippet of uh, some pieces of code that we look at in one of the first days of class. On the left is a programming language called Snap, and on the right is a programming language called Python. And of course, they look a little different, but when you learn to program in two languages at the same time, uh, you really learn uh, what's common amongst all of the different programming languages. And this prepares you for learning more programming languages uh, when you're done with this class. 
So then we have two higher level computer science classes at Fairview as well. These are available for sophomores through seniors. Generally speaking, I recommend that you take AP Computer Science Principles or have some sort of equivalent experience uh, before taking this class. Um, this, in this class, you're going to learn uh, to think in a particular programming methodology that's really good for creating large software applications. It's called object-oriented programming. We do a lot of computational thinking, problem solving, and of course, programming in this class. It also involves about a two and a half month independent project uh, during the second semester, which is an awesome uh, project. This is an excellent class for potential uh, STEAM majors. Typically, it counts as a first semester college course for computer science majors. The curriculum is based on uh, first semester computer science major college courses. And then uh, we have a second year continuation of that class. So if you finish IB AP Computer Science, you can take IB Computer Science 2 HL your senior year. And in this class, we continue on uh, talking about object-oriented programming and Java, computational thinking, and we get into some advanced topics called data structures, things like linked lists and stacks and queues and binary search trees. And we also talk about a number of different computer science topics like computer architecture, organization, and resource management. Like, what are all of those internal compu uh, components inside the computer? What do they do? How do they work together? Uh, how does memory and CPU get shared amongst all the different applications that are running on your computer? Um, and we also talk about uh, designing systems, uh, about computer networks, uh, about control systems, and we uh, also do a case study each year, which is different every year and has to do with a current computer science topic. So um, what CS class should you take then? Uh, well, if you're new to coding, new to computer science, um, if you're not sure if you're if you're interested in computer science or not, but you want to check it out. Uh, maybe you have an interest in web page development, or you like the idea of pursuing computer science in a very visual way, then I would recommend taking Intro to Web Authoring. This is, again, a great first computer science class. Everyone is welcome. Computer science for all. If you know a little bit about coding, but you don't have a lot of experience, if you're interested in coding applications that run on a computer, um, if you're ready to learn the basics of coding that are uh, applicable to many different programming languages, um, you're interested in pursuing a STEAM-related college major or career path, and you're ready to begin your computer science journey, um, and if you're ready to take an AP class, by the way, this is a great first AP class. If you have never taken an AP class before, this is a good one to take first. I would recommend taking AP Computer Science Principles. This also is a really great first computer science class. Um, it's a two semester long class. If you already have some coding experience in an algorithmic programming language, maybe you've already taken AP Computer Science Principles, or you've taken another class, or you've got a lot of experience in a language like Scratch or C Snap or C or C++ or JavaScript or Java or something like that, and you want to take your coding to the next level, then I would recommend taking AP IB Computer Science in Java. Um, if you're ready to learn a programming methodology that's useful for creating large software applications or you're ready for a challenging AP level computer science course at the level of a college course for first semester computer science majors, this is the class for you, AP IB Computer Science. And then IB Computer Science 2 is for students that have already completed AP IB Computer Science. It's really the second year continuation of that class. If you're interested in pursuing computer science as part of a STEAM major or career path, um, if you want to take your computer science education to the next level uh, by studying things like data structures and other computer science topics and you're ready for a challenging IBHL level computer science class, then IB Computer Science 2 is your class. So. Uh, again, thanks for listening uh, to this little video on computer science and the courses that we offer at Fairview. If you have any other questions, please feel free to email me, Mr. Gazelle. Uh, my email address is right there. And thanks for listening.